Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about the Grammarly extension for Google Chrome. So this will do things like check your spelling and grammar and correctness and that sort of thing. And obviously, you know, uh, Chrome has its own spell checker, but this has some more advanced features. So if you're writing a serious uh, Google Doc or an email and you really want to check your uh, spelling and so on, you should give this guy a shot. So they have the free version and the pay-for version. Of course, the pay-for version has some advanced checking, but for most people, I think the uh, free version is fine. So I'll put a link in the description for the uh, extension page here from the Chrome Web Store. So once you uh, have, you know, make sure you're signed in with the account you're going to use it with. And then click on Add to Chrome. Add extension. It says it's now active. So if you don't have a uh, Grammarly account, it'll take you to a different page where it's going to ask you to sign in or create a Grammarly account, but I have one for this user, so I'm good to go here. So now I'm going to open Google Docs. I have this generic document here. I just copied and pasted. So now if you go to your extensions here, you see that it's active down here, and you could also have it here and pin it if you like. And you can take the tour. So when you click on the extension, it just shows you uh, your options, basic options. And if you want to change your language or go to the premium and you know do the pay for account, additional settings. Customize your account. If you want to add words, change your default language, and so on. All right, so the Grammarly little icon will be down here. So 37 advanced uh, things to could check for. If we just click on that, or either one of them. So here's your categories, the color-coded, correctness, clarity, engagement, and delivery. And you can see here we have mostly uh, correctness errors. So if you click on one, it'll take you to it and tell you why it thinks it's wrong. And then you could change it. See, it's missing the missing A. And if you if you don't want it, you, you want to leave it as is. Click on dismiss, and it'll clear it out here, not mark it as bad. And then you can move on. And then you have some couple here things here if you want to do some reporting. So we're going to do this option here to make A modern. So it fixed that, and it automatically moves on to the next one. And let's say we don't want this one. We're going to skip it. And this is saying it should cross off this word and change it to represent. So we'll go with their suggestion. More grammar here. So you can see how it works. Just kind of go through the list or change them as needed or ignore them as needed. And then if you don't want it anymore, the extension... You could click on the extensions button here, click the three dots, remove from Chrome, and then it'll be gone. All right, so once again, put a link in the description for this so you could download and try it out. And you could use it with Google Docs and Gmail and other uh, websites where you type in you know, information and so on. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.